Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is Elimination Chamber time, and I am the Chad from the Mega Douches. Uh, we're currently scheduled here in a couple minutes to uh, get ready to, to tape for our, our show, but unfortunately, uh, Double D is not here, so uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to give him a little quick call here, see what's going on, and see if this show's going to happen. If not, I'm going to do it solo tonight with you guys for the Chamber, but... Uh, Again, let's see what uh, Mr. D is going on. <clears throat> like I said, I have no idea what uh, he's going on. Hopefully he'll answer or we're doing this show. Hey, hey, well, look at you. Jesus. What is going on, buddy? Um, are, you, um, are you on the throne? <laughs> was it um, yeah did now was it did you feel dirty from the shame yes <laughs> yes all right and uh, the four and a half seconds that uh, big sexy kevin nash was in it uh yeah pretty much um yeah that was just a joke but yeah uh big night tonight uh we're gonna have a big elimination chamber uh, gonna be on. a huge show buddy gonna be a huge show I gotta wow. show you. I gotta show you something I was looking for here. Give me a second. Hold on. This is gonna be big. I think this is gonna be the biggest thing you're gonna see tonight, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. Yeah, here. Just listen to this, people. So yeah, buddy. It was just crazy. And we'll stop there. Yeah. Because, you know, you get the idea. You get the idea, and that's what we're not here for right now. I mean, we're going to talk about the main event later, which is going to be just insane. I think, you know, I think it's much more. Yeah, I was going to go nuclear one way or other. But, uh, uh, if Sandy wins, they riot. If he loses, they riot. Yeah, uh, totally. It's just a matter of uh, what's going to go on. But it's a huge card. I mean, uh, tonight starts off with Brock and Les and Lesnar. I mean, Brock and Bobby. Like Brock and Lesnar. Yeah, Bobby. Brock and Lesnar, Bobby and Bobby. Yeah, Bobby and Bobby. <laughs> I think you mean uh, Lesnar and Lashley. Yeah, Lesnar and Lashley and Bobby and Brock. What's your thoughts there, buddy? Um, you know, they're serviceable guys. It's it's going to be two water eaters trying to suplex each other. Ah, uh, you know, I don't see. I don't see Lesnar losing. I see, like uh, we previously discussed, kind of that Lashley's going to go full heel. There's going to be some kind of shenanigans to get Lashley heel, and Lesnar's going to go over, I think. I don't know, I don't know. I mean, like we were talking about before with uh, Lashley getting back to business, with the Hurt business. Yeah. You know, I think that's going to play a huge part in it, and I think that's the only way Lashley goes over, is with a little bit of help. What is going on there, Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you, like that must be a gift, man, because I don't, I don't see Brock winning tonight. I really don't. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. It, so it, it's definitely going to be kind of settled at Mania. A lot of the matches tonight are actually kind of probably going to be on Mania anyway. Yeah. So yeah, whatever, whoever kind of wins tonight is not winning. So, yeah, I don't know, but yeah. they, they also were talking Brock and Gunther, so I mean, I would like that. Uh, last night I watched SmackDown and Bray Wyatt put his name in the mix for uh, whoever wins Brock and, and Lashley, so I mean, there's lots of lots of ways to go with this. I mean, it's it's a smart move now, um, you know, the Wyatt Six, if they started going up against the business, that'd be a, that'd be a sweet, yeah, uh, sweet run. I think that would be the way to go, but... The whole Bray Wyatt thing is still kind of fizzled for me, so... Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, you know, yeah I mean, it's all up in the air. I mean, Captain, uh, Captain Howdy there. <laughs> Captain Howdy. Uncle Howdy. Whatever, man. I mean, I can't... Yeah, what, whatever Uncle Howdy is, dude, he's smaller than Bray Wyatt. Yeah. And I really can't take him seriously. Yeah. So, they need to reinvent that. For sure. 
Put him with Corbin. Yeah, we get to the next match. Uh, probably going to be the next tag with uh, Beth Phoenix and Edge versus Jim Bauer. And yeah. Uh, if any, if any, uh, honestly, if anybody takes a fall, it's going to be Finn or Finn or Beth, and it's going to be you know a cheap shot win if it, if they're going to win. Because I mean, again, this this feud should be over, really. You know, this should have ended at, at Royal Rumble, but there was too much other things going on, and you know, with Edge filming things, so. They're delaying the, the coup de gras, I guess, till Mania. I think it's going to go to the cell, and I think Edge and Beth are going to be on a losing end tonight. Oh yeah, for sure. There's no, there's no way they have Rhea lose coming off the momentum of the Rumble. Um, yeah, I agree that they kind of how they would save both people is have Finn kind of if they do go that way, have Finn Balor take the pin. But you know, I see Rhea probably just dominating Phoenix at the end and. Win, yeah, so for sure. Or, you know, chair shot. <laughs> yeah, either or. Yeah, uh, concerto. Yeah. <laughs> Rhea's, not, Rhea's not losing, and I don't see Edge taking the fall because he just came back too, so. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be probably Rhea winning over Phoenix for sure. Yeah. yeah and I mean, and if they do lose, they're going to put that one on Finn. Yeah. And, then, and then Finn's going to come back, and then I think maybe that's how they... That's how they're going to set up the mania, the mania feud, if that's the way they go. Yes, yeah, I, I agree. I so, agree. Um, yeah. but yeah, the women's chamber. Yeah, Cha- um, women's chamber. I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't. I see Aqua winning. There's oh yeah, I mean, definitely that she's the only only credible one. It's just going to be, <clears throat> I mean. You know, if you're comparing apples to apples with the men's and women's, I'm much more into the men's right now because of the variety of people that can win, right? Sure. With the women, it's Oscar or Liv Morgan, and I don't see Liv and and Bianca going at Mania. I see, you know, yeah. definitely Oscar doing that. For you sure. Know? Yeah. And she's, she, you know, she's back. She's got this new age. You yeah. Know, she, tread the water between heel and face and go up against uh, Bianca pretty easily. It, it's going to be awesome. There's, I, yeah. I'd be shocked if it, was, if it went any other way. There's kind of no other... You could kind of throw a swerve meeting Natalia because she just came back, but... No. I mean, like, <clears throat> I think, it, it, you know, Natalia is a, strictly a SmackDown athlete. Yeah. Um, you know, and if she was, what is going on? Yeah, she's a clock. I, if, you know, they're going to do something with it Natalia, it's got to be on a, like, a retirement tour kind of deal, I would think, if they're going to ever she, she's got to be <clears throat> 40s. Yeah, anyway. so, yeah. you know, she's, ama- she's an amazing woman for the women's division. Like, always, you know, she's willing to do business, put people oh, over, and make awesome. people look great. She's a great wrestler, but... I don't see her winning tonight. Nah, no, it'd be a total wash. Yeah. Asuka's total sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go lead right into uh, the men's chamber for the U.S. title. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it, there's so many different ways that it could go. Um, I kind of see Austin Theory retaining, but I also see Seth Rollins winning. That sets them up for Mania. That's going to be a medium match. No, I, did, um, I see my my sleeper pick tonight would, is going to be Montez Ford. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's yeah. been a there's been a lot of talk about you know moving him forward, and I mean, he even put it, he even put on social media the other day that uh, he would give give Dawkins the first title shot if right. you know. So I can see that being lead up to the you know the profits uh, going their separate ways, maybe. Yeah, um, definitely could see that too. It's there's so many different ways the men's uh, U.S. final chamber match could end. That, uh, oh no, and, and uh, that's going to be uh, besides what we're going to talk about next. That's going to be the match to watch. I think tonight for sure. For, for, sure. for everybody, for, everybody for, in the match is an amazing athlete. Oh, definitely. It could be yeah. It could go you know five, six different ways. How many guys are yeah. Gonna and it's gonna, yeah. I mean, the move sets tonight that you're gonna see, you're gonna see some phenomenal athletes tonight. Oh god, yeah. I, I'm gonna. My long shot is that we see some kind of shenanigans with 
Logan Paul coming back. And that was set up kind of a feud with him, with either Austin Theory or Seth Rollins, or the three of them, to set up the match at the end. Yeah, yeah, I could see that too. I mean, that would be a good, solid match. He's back, like Logan Paul's back, not announced on the card, so yeah. that's kind of the best place to put him in there, big surprise again. Yeah, so. or I mean, you know, they were talking about him and Seth at Mania as well, so I mean, if he can cost Seth something, and uh, you know, that's how maybe Theory gets out of this tonight. Could be, yeah, it could be. Like, uh, Theory retains, you know, from some shenanigans from Logan Paul, Rollins and that sets them up for Mania and then you throw Austin Theory you know anybody really but yeah. yeah well I mean they're talking about Cena for Theory yeah. so you know you maybe Which maybe maybe out. he calls out an open challenge at Mania and uh, Cena comes out that'd Cena be comes out that'd be awesome that would be awesome so yeah. yeah well the big one the, the, the big, big one the I don't <laughs> man it's going to be nuclear in Montreal tonight, buddy. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm originally from Montreal. I, uh, you know, the Habs fans are just crazy for what's going on in Montreal. Either way, I'm not a Habs fan. Don't say that. Um, um, but yeah, like, uh, honestly, I think Sammy has to win tonight. With all the momentum that's going on, um, you know, like he got, you know, I watched Raw last week and uh, the promo between him and, and Rhodes was phenomenal. Uh, so you know, so um, you know. I like how Rhodes kind of threw in that little inkling. I forget exactly what he said, but he basically said that, like, if you win, uh, that'll be okay. So he, he kind of almost hinted that maybe the plan is for Sammy to win. Yeah. And, like, kind of all, like, the rumors going around and everything is that the original plan was Sammy was not going to win. Oh, but no, but I don't think they, they figured that Sammy would be we would be this kind of hit. You know, yeah. even from, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's he's way he's way over Montreal, but we're talking all over the world, too. I mean, they when when he finally said enough is enough with Roman, you know, he got the pop of the night, for sure. Oh, that's the pop of the, you know, probably the decade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I agree. I I think they kind of have to give it to Sammy. I don't see how they're not going to without honestly someone burning down the bell center. Yeah, and I think honestly, if they're gonna if you know Sammy is gonna go over and they're gonna bring because honestly the bloodline I mean, uh, Sikoa is already already in Montreal, so obviously he's gonna get involved. I see yeah. honestly, hopefully. Because uh, we haven't seen him in a long time since uh, since the Rumble is KO. That's right, and he you know will he will definitely make an appearance. I see. However, it ends whether Sammy does go over or not. Sammy and Kevin Owens are going to be in the ring together when the pay per view fades to black. Yeah, whether it be you know Sammy takes a you know a valiant effort and a giant beating and Reigns does go over. Yeah, they, they're beating him again, kind of tail end of the Royal Rumble. But then Kevin Owens comes in and saves the day, scares them off, and then that could kind of set up Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens against the Usos yeah. the, at Mania for the title, uh, for the tag titles. But also, who's to say that they throw a swerve and Sami does win, but then there's some kind of shenanigans where the contract he signed is it was only for one title. Hopefully. So that was one title. Yeah. And then that would kind of get rid of the problem they created with. You guys gotta love Cody, not yeah. as much as anything. So for sure, for sure. And I mean, even if they wanted to rejoin those titles, they could do it three way. Oh, for sure. Or yeah. again, a double main event, right? You do, uh, you know, they both both champions face off one night against somebody, and then you know they unify the titles the next night. Yeah, and if, you know, if they do it anyway, you know, they have you know, say Cody pin Sammy to win both of them. And that saves Roman from looking weak. Exactly. Exactly. You know. And then he can kind of chase back. Whichever title he wants. More or less. You know. Because yeah. I, I see, you know, he's got to lose both by the summer. I think he, you know, he takes a summer off and comes yeah. back, you know, probably Survivor Series for a Bloodline feud. Yep. Yeah. And that, yeah, that would be great, actually. You know. So, and I, then, I, and then they could lead that to WrestleMania 40 with... Maybe him finally facing off against The Rock. Yeah. Well, you know, Rock, he's not in shape 
know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. He's you know too busy eating you know pancakes and making movies. Yeah. Not working out. Hmm. What the whole the whole thing with the rocket pancakes was that just like a meme? No, he, uh, that's one of his cheat meals. He eats, like, a stack of, yeah, it's disgusting. Uh, Not to get off topic, but. Yeah, okay. it's disgusting. It's, it's, but yeah, I, I'm going to pick, I'm going to go out on a limb, too, and pick Sammy wins. Um, pro, there's going to be some shenanigans, obviously. I could see them splitting the title, like I said, or he just, or he just clean wins. Like, yeah. They, have, they almost have to, or else. It's gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna be like, and uh, if in the, on standby, like. if yeah, totally. The, the cops are definitely on standby. Um, <laughs> but you know, if Sammy is to lose, he's got to lose clean. Yeah, and all the heat on Roman. And all the heat on Roman, and he's but Roman's okay. also Great. gotta Great. gotta Great. make him look like a million bucks tonight. Yeah. You know. For sure. Because I mean, Sammy's Sammy tonight's gonna have the match of the year for sure. I for think sure. this is gonna be the match of the year tonight. I I would agree. I would wholeheartedly agree. I'm sure all hands on deck, and you know, I'm I'm hoping Sammy you know pulls it off, and they they actually do go through with it. They had the chance kind of with Kevin Owens, but Sammy is so over that like definitely it, definitely. It just, it makes sense to do it now. And I think Kevin would want that too, you know, all business aside, personal, like behind the scenes. I think, you know, he knows Sammy deserves it. Oh, yeah, and for sure. going forward, I mean, long term, he's a long term WWE guy now, so he's going to get his rub for sure. And through this, you know, there's going to be so many storylines they can go with. Oh, God, yeah. So. But yeah, so. That's the that's gonna be the pay-per-view. That's the elimination chamber. Yeah, it's gonna be a sweet night tonight. I'm gonna go make some uh, home cooking and then uh, sit down, enjoy the pay-per-view, and yeah. we'll, we'll get back to it Tuesday with uh, you know another edition of the Mega Douches, bud. That's right. So you want to sign up? Yeah, buddy. You go for, actually. You know, you go for it, my friend. You know. Okay. Wrestle, nah, I don't think so. Wrestle this. <laughs>